I'm going to give my iPad Air 2 to another family member. So we're going to discuss how we're going to move all of the content from a really old iPad uh, into the iPad Air 2. So first we want to wipe my account off here and all the data. So you'd do this even if you were selling it to somebody else. So go into settings, uh, sign out of iTunes. And we'll sign out there. And now we're going to do a full reset. So hit reset and erase all content and settings. So I've entered my pin, hit erase. Definitely want to erase it. Now that will erase all the data off that iPad. So next we're going to transfer all of the data that's on here onto that one. Okay, so now this one's reset, took about maybe five minutes, and it's actually detected on this side uh, that there's a iPad waiting to be set up on the other side. So we just need to sign in. And then you get this really funky picture here. This, this kind of is almost like a spinny particle QR code. So we take that and put this one over the top use the camera. It's a bit hard to do when I'm... Oh, there it is. Use the camera like this. Mm -hmm. Now that that is kind of almost paired, it can use a Bluetooth connection between the two uh, to transfer the data across, or it can use your iCloud backup. And we'll set that up later. Basically, having the old iPad next to the new iPad helps initiate that transfer, and you really don't have to do anything. Uh, it will transfer all the apps and all the settings. Pretty much everything gets transferred across. Obviously, do check that you've got everything that is important to you before you wipe the old one. Uh, but I found that, yeah, I, I just can't think of anything that it missed uh, when I moved everything off my Air 2 up onto the Air 4. Okay, so it's been a while since it's backed up on the other one. I'm just going to say update backup before restoring. Okay, now it's pulling down the full backup from iCloud. Now when I did this from the Air 2 to the Air 4, it had the option to use a Bluetooth connection, so it transferred it without using iCloud at all. So that's the one I chose, whereas this one didn't seem to offer that option. Okay, that took maybe hmm, five minutes or so. Um, not quite sure because I walked away. Um, so now it's downloading the apps it doesn't have and that will take a little while to get updated. Uh, but essentially all that data has been transferred across and you're kind of good to go. So that makes it super easy. I'm really impressed by how Apple have made that so super simple. Uh, it works great, uh, doesn't take too long and uh, really easy. So very much recommend going through that process if you're giving your iPad to somebody else in the family. Anyway, thanks for watching.